Deadpool and Wolverine is everything wrong with the MCU right now. It's formatted like a Disney Plus show, looks as bland as a ball of white rice, is too short for its own good, and has to rely on glup shitters to be remembered. Deadpool 2016 and Deadpool 2 2018 were loved by all due to their meta fourth wall breaking comedy style. In those movies, the character of Deadpool would deconstruct superhero tropes and laugh at everything. The movies didn't take themselves super seriously, and it was during a time where superhero movies took themselves too seriously. The Marvel Universe was this preppy clean consistent franchise that had very safe characters, and the DCEU was a dark shit show that was perceived as edgy by the public. Do I think these movies have aged well? No, and one of the main reasons why is because every superhero movie became a Deadpool clone. Yeah, Deadpool was a big hit, became a household name, it gave Ryan Reynolds a memorable character that made him a pop culture titan, and due to this everyone else weighed a slice of the pie. Hellboy became edgy and quirky, the light-hearted quippy Shazam gave some humour to the DCEU, and every single MCU character now had to make a hundred jokes a minute like they were Ryan Reynolds. Disney even made a She-Hulk show, a character that's known for fourth wall breaks and quipping. Maybe I have some sort of quippy character fatigue, maybe you watching this video also do, but I miss when movies had stakes, when characters took themselves seriously, and I love humour. I just don't like every single character being a meta Rick and Morty reddit pandering comedian. It doesn't allow anyone to stand out and it leads to nothing really mattering. One of the reasons She-Hulk failed was due to the character not really standing out. She felt like every other person in the MCU, and due to it being more comedy oriented, it lost focus and concentration I didn't really have anything interesting going on. The show in my opinion showed that the MCU can't do a meta sitcom because the MCU is super safe and should probably stay in its lane. Deadpool and Wolverine structurally felt very similar to She-Hulk for me, it just had way more cameos. What do I mean? Well, the plot of Deadpool and Wolverine is Deadpool finds out about a TVA scheme and gets sent to Cape Ship Purgatory where all the irrelevant superhero characters rot, there he meets Professor X's evil boring bald sister and has to get back home with Wolverine. Could you do something creative, fun and interesting with Deadpool and Cape Ship Purgatory? Yes you definitely could. But instead the movie does the most generic stuff it possibly could with the premise and has Wolverine and Deadpool fight a bunch of times which was shot very well actually. Uh, I thought the action in the movie was pretty decent. You get a cool mini Wolverine and Deadpool fight where Wolverine moves around like a predator and the camera is all low and flows with him. You get a fun car fight between the two where they mess about in the interior and there's some kinetic energy and cool destruction and you also get a fun fight at the end which is shot landscape like a platformer video game or something like Double Dragon. The only issue is, one, this is only like 30% of the movie, and two, both Wolverine and Deadpool have regenerative powers, and there's like zero stakes in these fights, they just happen to waste time. They literally happen to move the movie closer to its runtime, and it's really funny because outside of these filler fights, we get some really boring scenes. There's two kinds of scenes in Deadpool and Wolverine. One is the very generic and bland exposition dump type of scenes where evil bald bad guy explains that she's evil and is gonna kill them and the other is SNL like comedy. If you loved Thor Love and Thunder then you will love this movie because they have the same style of improvisation and riffing and the same type of humour. It's just Deadpool swears and says fuck haha isn't that funny he's talking about pegging haha ooh Deadpool is ugly his face is so icky. Wanna do some cocaine? <laughs> It's the one thing that Feige said is off limits. What about Bolivian marching belt? They know all the slang terms. They have a list. Even snowboarding? Even disco dust. White girl interrupting? Even Forrest Bump. Do you want to build a snowman? Yes! But I can't! The runtime of this movie is 2 hours 6 minutes. I have an issue with that. But you can tell this is a 2 hour movie because it's just trying to race to the finish line. There's nothing unique or big that ever really happens or changes events in a catastrophic way. The movie doesn't try to make us care about this depressed Wolverine or sad Deadpool. There are scenes every now and then where they spell out that they're a failure to the audience, but we don't ever get a moment where we should see why for Wolverine. We don't get them being serious and actually talking to one another normally. In Deadpool's case, his backstory is done really fast and abruptly, and we needed to see more of him before we got to this journey. It's a badly structured movie that rushes important things, but allows boring and bland things to drag. Speaking of bland, this movie is so dull looking, it's so dim and grey, and boom, I'm gonna just share some stills. These are professional stills, some of these look like paparazzi photos on set. It's honestly really depressing. 300 million dollar movie, there's even lines referencing Mad Max, 
Furiosa came out this year. It has an innovative style that makes everything feel grand. You know everything about the world just by how the atmosphere is shown and every frame is a painting. And then you have Deadpool and Wolverine. There's nothing innovative about the way this movie looks. Maybe the CGI models are innovative. I've never seen people move like that. They're innovatively bad. Fortnite House Models. This is a $300 million movie. I know I haven't really talked about the dialogue or the screenplay of the movie. All I've said is that there's lots of jokes where Deadpool's horny or angry or whatever. And the thing is, right, that's all the screenplay is. It's just jokes. You, you got Ryan Reynolds doing like 100 jokes a minute. And they're all about how he's Canadian and hot and how he's married to Blake Lively. And ooh, I own a Welsh team. Look, guys, it's the Welsh flag. Oh, Wolverine, he's angry and drunk, and he's Hugh Jackman. That's literally all the movie is. I do not need to hear Ryan Reynolds talk about how he fucking eats seven dicks for breakfast, okay? I am not 14 years old anymore. Maybe if I was still 14 watching Deadpool 1, I would find this fucking funny, but I'm not. I'm a fucking 20-year-old who does not find dick jokes funny anymore. But in conclusion, Deadpool and Wolverine was a disappointing slugfest that only had cameos and crappy Ryan Reynolds jokes going for it. If you enjoy Ryan Reynolds' humour and love scrolling on Reddit, then this is the movie for you. But if you genuinely want an action-packed thrill ride, then Deadpool doesn't really deliver in my opinion. It falls flat and takes the most cliched route it possibly could with a lack of genuine emotion and actual funny meta humour. There's lines here and there that I found funny, but Deadpool says about 100 jokes in a minute. Of course, two or three of them are going to land. Two out of five, below mid.